I'm Andrea Anderson on behalf of TAP Milwaukee here with Corey Chisel, and we're going to be talking about his journey here in Europe. So can you tell me a little bit about how you came to travel to Europe and play music with Nora Jones? Yeah, well, we started doing a tour with Nora in the Midwest, and um, all right, actually, that's a total lie. We didn't start. We're going to the Midwest right now, but we started on the West Coast, and um, we did, I think it was 11 shows. So. with her and um, it went well and so we were able to do um, more she had you know we knew she was coming over here but she hadn't asked us to do them yet so I'm, I'm hoping it's because those shows went well that we got more <laughs> All right. and what were you doing before you decided to play with Nora Jones what kind of shows were you playing uh, well we were doing much smaller places than than on this tour um, primarily clubs and you know taverns size places, you know, it would be like, you know, 200, 300 people max if it was big. And um, so, yeah, it's been kind of a different leap to play these bigger rooms with her. And what would you say is the differences between audiences and the United States compared to the audiences here? Well, I, I just feel like they are a little bit more eager to um, buy up the music and things after shows are done, which we was great in the States, but... I think because, um, you know, like in the United States when people come from overseas, there's just that added excitement of people being from a foreign place in general. And, um, you know, the, uh, the language barrier can be tough, but it's pretty humbling how much English the rest of the world speaks compared to our ability to speak any other language. You know. And have you had any really great experiences while you've been traveling in Europe? Have you gotten to sightsee in the various cities? Or what have kind of been some highlights? Oh, there's lots. Um, I think my favorite thing is when we kind of find people that we sort of become friends with in a town in 24 hours, and they can kind of show us their, uh, their world a little bit. It's different when you're just sort of landing in a place and you have a few hours to try to discover everything yourself but it's really wonderful when you meet someone that can kind of move the veil a little bit and that happened in Dublin for sure we spent a day with a really wonderful family and um, they took us some to some amazing places and in a uh, in Lisbon yesterday we had I don't know I it wasn't a really magical 24 hours and that had to do with kind of stumbling into some things and meeting a couple of people and I don't know, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite moment so far, but yeah, those two it's places been really were wonderful. great. Yeah. Lisbon's a beautiful city. And that, were you able to travel at all or like sightsee when you're in the different locations? I mean, as much as we can in two days max, you know, I mean we charged around Rome, charged around Paris. We've you know, we put a couple miles on a day trying to see the city, but we also try I mean without sounding a little obvious, but we try and focus a lot of energy towards the performance itself. When you're in these beautiful places, you really like to achieve something artistic, you know, as, and you have to have energy to do that for the, for the show. So it's kind of a good balance of like, we are here on work, you know, it's not exactly a vacation, but um, you know, when your job is this, it's, it's damn near a vacation. Yeah. And is it more enjoyable to play in a different country than, say, like Wisconsin, where you're from? Is it different? Or? It's, it's not more enjoyable would be hard to say. I mean, there's, there's something beautiful about playing somewhere where you know the faces in the audience and they're, mm -hmm. you know, f they talk like you and look like you. And, you know, and then that has like, you know, you, I can also miss home a lot playing over here. You know, you just, you get... Um, far away and I think the further away you get from home I think the easier it is to know all the things that are beautiful about where you come from you know and uh, yeah I mean it's just it's a great experience to um, to see places that aren't home but it always leaves you wanting to come back that's for sure. Has it given you guys a lot of material that you want to work with then for future music this tour? I think so I mean I feel like we've been um, really immersed in so many you know, new and inspiring experiences, and it'll be fun to kind of gather all those things up and maybe create something out of them. But it's, I mean, you know, you dream, of, at least I've, I've dreamt of coming to Spain my whole life and going to Italy and going to Portugal. And so 
just to be here is is really so I mean it's such a gift but then to also be able to sing and play music like it's you know it's adding one dream onto another but I'm really excited to head back to the Midwest now and kind of see how it affects our live shows there and and see our families and our friends it's really nice. our songs are built so much off stories and travel is like a great way to accumulate mm -hmm. I mean there was we were sitting in a cafe 24 hours ago right now and in Portugal watching people and and learning of reading po you know local poets and and we were in this square that was like a revolutionary s square where people during the um, former regimes poets would come to read their poetry in this particular square knowing that they were going to be arrested the minute that they you know walked off the stage or whatever how whatever they were standing on I guess type of thing and um, being around those kind of cultures where just really urgent important things have happened and it's just sort of seeped into the marble walls and things and so it's easy to sort of daydream of, of you know what it must have been like and, and what the job of the artist has been through time and history and um, other countries have their artists integrated differently than I think we do in the United States you know I think we have a culture of entertainment that's really um, prevalent. Like, and when you think mm -hmm. of musicians or what we do as as being primarily to just entertain, you know, and people in other countries, I think a lot of the function of art is to tell the people's story of what they've been through and where they've come and gone. And I find that that is really inspiring to to um, remember that that's our main job for us. Like, that's what we're here to do is to tell people's story, you know, and and not just not just our own, but really be a voice, you know, for, and people um, look to artists over here in Spain. I, I feel, feel like that's that way too. I haven't been here extensively, but um, I think that's a really beautiful thing. And so Nora Jones, as you mentioned, storytelling, and she's, I feel she's a great storyteller mm -hmm. through her music. So have you learned anything from her as, have you guys swapped oh, yeah. any like advice or anything? Constantly. I mean, I, I feel like that's, one of the main things we're getting from this tour is we walk off the stage, we play our set, and then we watch a master do her set. And we don't know anything about playing in rooms these size and in foreign countries. And this for her is like she's you know seasoned to the point of mm -hmm. really just understanding all the different people groups and how they respond and what they respond to. And the slight changes in her set every night, it's just, it's really, great to go to school that way and see someone who's been doing this for a long time and um, it feels a little bit like being a student you know right and so do you think you'll come back on your own and do a European tour hopefully just just you guys and then you guys will have the supporting acts or? yeah we're building I mean that's what we're building that's what we're trying to build is um, you know we'd love to have the types of places we have in Wisconsin over here so that we can instead of just overkilling everything in the Midwest, we can kind of jump around the world and have these little pockets of, um, of people that we look forward to see when they come at every show. And we, we have that in a couple other countries where there's this, you know, groups of people that we see and they'll travel to other countries and that kind of thing. Like when we play in London, we have people that would fly from Spain oh, wow. in London to come see us there. You know, and we, I was just always so overwhelmed that people would travel that distance and they're like well that's as close as you're ever going to get and we'd like to fix that you know we'd like this to be a sort of a big loop you know we started going just going to Milwaukee started originally was like a big, big deal, deal you know I mean yeah. getting to Milwaukee was like wow we, we made it man mm -hmm. we're in Milwaukee and we love it and so you just kind of keep drawing that circle larger and larger and um, hopefully this year it sounds like we may get to go to Australia and um, yeah. and Asia and maybe even India and so, you know, just keep going out into the world and, and that's something that gets really addicting, you know, is, is the sort of the experience of travel and the way it changes you and I think one thing people always say and it's popular to say around home is that like don't change, you know, don't change and be, and I think that that's maybe wrong, I mean I think the experience of travel really does change mm -hmm. you and um, that it's important for a human being to evolve and it's not made me not like home anymore it's just only given me a perspective of um, how people have you know Wisconsin has such a great I don't want this to sound wrong but a love of itself it appreciates itself you know the fact that you're here doing a story 
is because Wisconsin cares about what people from Wisconsin are doing, you know? It's fun to find cultures like that everywhere. And so is, does that make you excited to go back to Milwaukee then and do the performance on October 8th? It's Absolutely. Like, yeah. That's like, I, I can't wait to walk back into that town and, you know, feel like our boots have traveled a bunch of miles and, and hopefully we've gotten better. You yeah. Know? It's kind of a confidence booster to be say like, oh, I've been all these places and now I'm going back home. Yeah, definitely. A, a kind of a big hurrah. It's a huge show and, and we couldn't be more thrilled to do it. Great. Well, thank you. Thank that you. That is it.